guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I'm documenting my forex trading journey and today is going to be a how-to video on how to set up your Notion for your forecasting, ASR and backtesting. Now be sure to click the link in the description to get $10 off Notion. I actually don't get anything from it because I'm already on a student plan. Now um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hopefully you guys took some value and are able to sort of have a guide in how to organize your Notion. So this is my main workspace and I just really like Notion because I can keep it super clean because that's the way I like it and it just keeps everything simple and organized and I can have sort of sub pages within a page. Here I've got two columns which is trading and extra stuff which includes my goals and uni and book notes and side projects and here was here is my main trading sort of area. Also this is a pretty sick cover. It's the Philippines because I am Filipino. This is my voice one day in the Philippines. This is my voice one week in the Philippines. This is my voice one month here in the Philippines. And yeah, if you guys want to know how to do this split column thing real quick, I'll just show you. Um, let's say, I don't know, you guys have trading as well. And then you've got uni. You just grab this little thing, move it to the side. And yeah, you can have a split section. I just like it so then it doesn't mean I have to keep scrolling down and things like that. So, like I said, I'm going to go over how I ASR forecast and backtest how I have that organized within Notion. Let's jump into how I actually organize my weekly ASR and use Notion to organize that. So what ASR basically means is advanced self-review. So I review any trades I took that week. And here you can see I organize it by year and then quarters. Here, this is so important. I have a template of each of the pages. So I'll actually do an example here. The template is I have a inline table now i didn't make this up actually so shout out to i think it was tyson who made a video before about it so inspired by tyson shout out to him so here i have my pair position etc now this is going to change depending on the style and strategy that you trade what i love about notion is that you can have these sort of select sort of tools and um you can just sort of pick really what criteria from your trading plan i'll show you sort of real quick step by step how i go about that for example right it's q3 toggle list and i'll type in q3 bring that down and then i would what i would do is i'll duplicate the template then i'll drag it into the q3 area now i can open this up and let's say it's it's july remove that and I don't know, let's say I took a trade and it was um, Euro dollar, favorite pair. And I took a buy with a 20 pip stop loss and I opened it, I don't know, 9th of July, closed it on 12th. And let's be ambitious and say I took 10%. So my style, let's say whatever, and I don't know, it was a sending channel and we got a retrace, double top, multi-touch, I don't know, whatever. And so that's just a really clean way of, um, you know, organizing all your trades. And at the bottom here, it counts how many trades you've taken. And then here I click on sum and it will sum for that whole month your profit and loss. And the cool thing about it is because you can sort of add a filter so you can see only ascending channels and you'll see how sort of well you've done with ascending channels, for example. I mean, not to get too analytical, but it's just really clean how they set it up. And if I open up the page, within that page, I've got the screenshots of my entry, exit and other ASR questions. In fact, I'm going to add another one, which is forecasting which is something quite new that I've also been implementing and we'll talk about about that in the next section but uh yeah so you can open up each of the trades um things like that and uh this was the question template that you, you saw in the beginning and I think it's just a really good clean way to organize it so this is something new that I've sort of been implementing I used to do it um in my journal 
and I would hand write the patterns and draw them out and sort of write them out. But now I've been using Notion and I actually prefer it now because it actually ties in well with my ASR. So here I started in June and I've sort of been doing them in different ways. So here you can see on Monday, on Monday the 3rd of June, I had a split column sort of thing and I had the actual screenshot. I'd have weekly, daily, etc. And then on Tuesday, I switched it up and decided to do like single column. But then I've, so as the day of filming, Monday the 9th, Sunday the 9th, sorry, um, I just copy and paste the, um, the link. And when you copy and paste the link, I click on the create bookmark and it sort of creates this. I keep it as daily in one hour um, and things like that. So yeah, I think it looks a lot cleaner. I think you guys should definitely try it out if you haven't been sort of logging in your forecasting daily because um, it's really going to tie in with your ASR. For example, if you took a trade and you forecasted it, you can pop that into your into your ASR section, let's say into here. And yeah, you can write a, a bit about it. Obviously this ASR section will change depending on your strategy and how you like to ask yourself questions and how you like to review your trade. Let's jump into the backtesting section. Backtesting. So uh, I've been implementing this sort of new um, layout for my backtesting. So again, template thing here, which is exactly the same as my weekly ASR, which I really like because, um, you know, when you're backtesting, you've got to treat it as if you're, t you're taking a live trade. So the same sort of layout, same, um, labels up here this is my q1 for 2019 um and again exactly the same sort of thing and uh you know we can open this up and you'll sort of see what i'm talking about in terms of like entries etc but um yeah this is basically exactly the same as weekly asr and don't worry i'm actually gonna i will go over a video on how to how I actually backtest in terms of like step by step, but this is just how I lay things out, how I organize info, data um, in Notion, because this is what I actually do myself. I'll quickly show you guys how I make that table template thing for your ASR and backtesting. So um, I'll put it, I'll pop it up here. Um, let's just call this template and. Yeah, I'll just forward slash for the command, scroll down to database. Now, you know, you can make a table inline, which basically means you can add extra things at the bottom. The other one is just like a full on table and you can't really do much with it. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get into this. So here I will have a title. I don't know, we can change this to pair. And then I, I have this for position, configure options. And here you can add in your buy and your sell. And you can change up the colors by the way. So let's say buy is green and sell is red. Now I've seen actually people um, sort of uh, make um, templates but uh, I don't actually know how to do that to be honest not gonna lie I don't know how to do it so sorry if like if you guys drop down below and teach me how to do it I will make a template and actually post it so you guys can just download it um next up we've got date so this is the date that you open the trade and actually when you pop up in here you can include the time that might be helpful for you guys if you guys want to analyze, I don't know, the best time you take the trade or whatever. Um, date. This will be close. And then, oh, what's next? I think it is profit loss. PL. And then don't forget that down here, you got to calculate the sum. Now this is where it gets sort of fun and you can do... Select just the difference between select and multi select is that in the select you only have one sort of thing, but in the multi select, that's when you can get a bit more creative and add your own extra thing. So I've got pattern, I feel like I'm missing one now. This is sort of where you add your own, I don't know, flag, let's say 
here I can add whatever um, thing, whatever criteria you want. So yeah, you just feel free to add whatever you want. I think I'm missing one. Let's have a look what I'm missing. Style, that's the one. Style. Yeah, so um, you can just add that, but overall this is how you sort of make that table. And when you open this up, you can just also make your own template for your screenshots. So uh, yeah, hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if I do figure out how to actually make a template for that table, then it'll be in the description. Um, and if you guys want to know the trading platform that I use, it's called TradingView, another link in the descri there, description. But uh, with that said, guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next Wednesday. Guys, before this video ends, I just wanted to quickly share something with you guys that uh, I've recently sort of jumped into. Soon there's going to be this thing called the One Funnel Away Challenge by Russell Brunson, uh, the founder of ClickFunnels. You know, I, I had no clue what it was and then one day I just made that jump and um, I was aware of the opportunity and the opportunity with marketing and ClickFunnels was just absolutely crazy and I just watched the video and remember, fuck, I need, I need to share this with my audience. So guys, if you want to check it out, you know, there's going to be free daily training. You don't have to know anything about it. I currently, I'm still learning. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like it would be rude not to. So click the link in the description if you want to get access to the One Funnel Away Challenge. I'll be doing it with you guys. We'll be learning together. You know, if, you, if you're out of uni, if you've just finished college, you know, that was the perfect time to get stuck into things. You know what Gary Vee says. We've got time to, you know, try little things out. But this, this could literally be life changing. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. And uh, yeah.